want a verite series to play out like a cinematic show or a cinematic film. We want it to play like a Law and Order. So we wanted to have cinematic framings, cinematic camera moves in a verite doc world. My name is Daniel Levin. I'm a cinematographer, filmmaker, all around production type of person. I come from a lineage of documentary filmmakers and journalists. I've always been intrigued by the visual side of filmmaking, so shooting is sort of what I fell in love with and what I pursued throughout my career. We were let into the New York City field office of the FBI. FBI New York. With each division, we usually followed a big case that would end in takedown. When they do their jobs and stop something, we usually never hear about it. They're sort of the unsung heroes. So we wanted to humanize those characters and of course get action and follow some of the best cases. We've been shooting with the C300 since it came out. Having compact cameras, having compact lenses, and not taking time to say, hey, you gotta stop what you're doing so I can build this up and get ready. It's like you're just ready to jump whenever they jump. It's a huge advantage to making documentary film and especially something like this where we were following agents that were plain clothes most of the time. So we didn't wanna sort of make a spectacle and draw attention to what we were doing. So we had to be very low profile. I'd have a strap and throw it under a jacket and you could literally walk in a building with it strapped to you just hanging here with your jacket over and no one would even know. Pulling out a light when you're in a law enforcement car is like a huge no-no. And basically once the C300 came out, you know, you wouldn't have to have a big light in your kit. You know, you could just push the ISO. I mean, we would push it to 10,000. A lot of the raids that we did, they would start at three in the morning. So you would go from nighttime into dawn, into daylight and be able to just push the ISO and still get a pleasing image. It's amazing and I don't think we would be able to do it any other way. Originally we started out with the whole L-series lens set. We would go with what you could fit in a backpack, so usually go with 24 to 105, 70 to 200, and then have 50, you know, 1.2 in there in case you're in a really dark spot. And basically that could get you through any situation. And then the 18 to 80 compact servo came out, so we got to put that to use in the field. We went out with the dive team and we took a boat and that thing is moving through the Hudson River jumping waves. So for me to have obviously an, an image stabilized lens, something that I could zoom in and out and the focal range is pretty nice, but still being able to like hold onto a boat and have a camera on my shoulder and not you know, have a huge heavy lens go flying and sort of counterbalance you, it just sort of became a sort of go-to compact lens. You gotta keep up with the technology and what's the hottest thing and what can give you the best representation and the best visual. The Mark II is an amazing advantage.